the spillover effect of the Israel Hamas war is widening in the Red Sea region. Tensions are escalating in the region with rising attacks from the Yemen based Houthi rebels. In the latest skirmish between US forces and Houthis, US helicopters repelled an attack by Iran based Houthi. Iran backed Houthi militants on a Maersk container vessel in the Red Sea, sinking three ships and killing 10 militants. Forces of the American enemy attacked three boats belonging to the Yemeni Houthi naval forces. As a result, 10 members of the naval forces were martyred and are missing. The Yemeni Houthi armed forces, as they sacrificed these martyrs in the midst of supporting the Al-Aqsa flood for the sake of Palestine, affirm that the American enemy bears the consequences of this crime and its repercussions. The Houthis attacked and tried to board a container ship operated by the Maersk Shipping Company. The vessel is a Singapore-flagged and Denmark-owned container ship named Maersk Hangzhou. Small boats are originating from Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen fired arms. They fired weapons at the Maersk Hangzhou. Responding to the ship's request for assistance, the U.S. shot down two anti-ship ballistic missiles from Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen. The U.S. Navy helicopter sank three of the four small Houthi boats. And the latest incident marks the 23rd attack by the Houthis on international shipping since the 19th of November. Now, in the wake of the rising attacks, India has enhanced its maritime and aerial surveillance in the Arabian Sea region. It has increased its sorties here as well. Task groups which comprise of destroyers and frigates have been deployed in the region. This includes India's INS Kolkata, India's INS Kochi, INS Mormogao, INS Chennai and INS Vishakhapatnam. In addition to these aerial surveillance by India, by long-range maritime patrol aircraft and remotely piloted aircraft would also take place. Now, over the last week, maritime vessels transitioning through international shipping lanes in the Red Sea, the Gulf of Aden and Central Arabian Sea have come uh, under a string of attacks. The region is there right in front of you on the map. You see the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. That's where the Bab al Strait is and that is essentially where the Houthi rebels are attacking vessels which are plying from the region. The twin threat is posed by Yemen's Houthi rebels and Somalian pirates. There is not one threat. There are two here. Now, the Houthis are Iran-backed rebel groups and they say that the attacks are a direct response to Israel's ongoing offensive in Gaza. Till the time Israel does not back off from Gaza, the Houthi rebels have claimed that they will continue attacking ships which are plying through the Red Sea. United States has also launched a maritime coalition of several nations. Operation Prosperity Guardian, as it is called, is underway to tackle the Houthi threat in the region. These countries that are part of it will patrol the region to safeguard commercial shipping against attacks. Remember, the Red Sea is a key entry point for ships using the Suez Canal to move towards the Asian side. 12% of the worldwide trade moves through the route. It also serves as a vital link between Asia and Europe. Due to rising dangers in the West Asian waters, many companies have either suspended their operations or they've diverted their route through the Cape of Good Hope, which essentially means they'll have to go around Africa, which not only increases cost, but also increases time. 